I would be doing myself a disservice if I didn't bring up probably the show you're asked about the most, uh, <laughs> Doctor Who, right? Yeah. Um, so to put it into context, probably the era that you're a part of is probably my personal favourite era of Doctor Who, so 2010, 2011, it's probably my favourite time to be a fan. Because of the Doctor that was on at that point, or what? Yes, I, I would say so. Also, it was sort of the age I was at, you know, you know, but everyone says when you're a certain age, yeah. um, that's a bit that hooks you, and Matt Smith came along when I just turned 11 or 12, and that was... I just remember it very vividly. You, of course, were in a Dalek story playing Winston Churchill to begin with. Yeah. I mean, that was the, that was the cream on top of the mm. that was the cherry on the cream. I mean, to actually be in a, a Doctor Who show, but to be with Dalek was just the best thing, really. I was doing uh, well, I was doing a theatre show at the time. I was doing a a theatre show, the National Theatre. I was playing uh, playing Winston Churchill in a show about. Um, Harold Macmillan. Jeremy mm -hmm. Irons was playing Harold Macmillan and I was playing Winston Churchill. It was at the Little Room Theatre in wow. at the National. And, uh, and who should come along to it but the casting director and one of the producers from Doctor Who because they were looking for a Winston Churchill for their show. And, and that's mm -hmm. really how I got the gig. I mean, I got it because they came to, to see the show. And so I, I so to turn up uh, and, and then get this offer of actually, and you know, and at that point, to, to actually get an offer to, 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 to do a Doctor Who, I mean, they had the world in their wire to choose from. I mean, yeah. they had they'd been having such terrific, because of the uh, re resurgence of, of Doctor Who, mm -hmm. and because of the money they were throwing at it, they, they, had a, 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 they had the gamut of actors. They could choose anybody they want. So to get, a, so to get an offer to play something as pivotal and as impressive as uh, Winston on a show like that was great. So I was very fortunate to have got the role to, to begin with. And then also fortunate to work with those two guys. I mean, both, mm. you know, uh, both him and her were just superb because Absolutely. it was him. Yeah. It was, um, uh, I think it was only the second one they'd done. And so they were still finding their feet. Mm. He, was, he was still, you know, being incredibly inventive and trying to find new ways of playing stuff and, was mm. just just very exciting to watch on stage, as she was too. Mm. And her legs do go all the way up; they really do. She's quite stunning. She's an absolute, absolute stunner. She really. And of is. course, she's gone on to do great things afterwards. As well. She's have. in Marvel now. Yeah. I mean, I thought his performance in The Crown. Yes. Was one of the best things he's ever done. I thought he was brilliant. And it was absolutely brilliant as that. Mm. I thought it was a wonderful performance. Oh yes, absolutely. Yes. And and he's going to be in. Uh, movie called Morbius coming out soon under the Sony banner. So, yes, he's going to be a villain in that, apparently. They're what's under? Uh, they're under Sony Pictures, so it's going to be one of the superhero movies. Oh, a superhero movie, okay. Mm, he's going to be doing that soon. So, with, with all of that, I have to... Well, not, not even ask, I'd just love to hear how he, what you thought about the story you were given, the idea of Daleks in World War II, because... I for, just for thought me, it was I, brilliant. I mean, I just thought it was brilliant. I thought it was brilliant to, to actually uh, bring in the Daleks. I mean, the Daleks are such a... Uh, I mean, anybody who loves Doctor Who loves the Daleks. I mean, how mm. can you not? And that you just, uh, just, just have, have Winston working on them as his iron sides. Yeah. He believes it's going to win the war with these creatures. It, it, it's extraordinary. And so I think that that was, that was a terrific... Uh, I think it was a terrific bend towards the uh, storyline. I, I, I mean, I always remember... I always remember, always remember hearing about the people that, that, that how the Daleks work because it was such a Heath Heath Robinson way of, of, of doing it, where they actually, even though the heads were 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 conducted with a sort of um, um, like a model function, but where they had little sort of um, um, handsets to actually turn the heads, they still had to work their feet on the floor with these. Yeah. Daleks. I mean, I mean, it's going back years and years and years. Same, the same thing from from day one. Mm. I always loved the idea. It was always, it was always a, it was all it was. It was a myth that really that, that basically that they, if they wanted to go to the toilet, that they had just had to flash their lights in a certain way, <laughs> and if somebody ignored them, that you just see a little puddle underneath. Oh. <laughs> love that. I just love that idea. But yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure, it, I'm sure it happened. Oh my days! There was a wonderful moment where where um, 
I always remember this that this that happened on the set where um he attacked the, the garlic, uh, the garlic, Dalek. <laughs> uh, the garlic Dalek. Yeah, yes, he attacked. They they had this uh, uh, wrench. That, that yes. Used, uh, and there were two wrenches. There was there was the correct uh, proper wrench and there was a rubber wrench. Yeah. And I always remember this moment where, where he went for hell for leather for hitting this this Dalek on the head with the wrench. And apparently at this point he got the wrong wrench. Oh. He should have been using the rubber one, but he was using the metal one. And suddenly you hear from underneath this Dalek little head going, that's the wrong <laughs> as, as, uh, as they were seeing stars inside, I think, from, oh. the, from the noise of this metal wrench being slammed down on top of them. So that was the... Oh my the, days. Uh, yeah, I, I was just going to say on, on a personal note, like to, I couldn't appreciate it when I was a kid, obviously, but the just the idea of Churchill as a character doing anything possible to win the war. He even says during the episode, um, "If Hitler invaded hell, I would give a favorable reference to the devil or something like that." I think that's the, an incredible line, which I never really understood. Mm. I was trying to say, "Can you just explain what that line means?" So, no, it's it, it's. A, I mean, no, it was a it was a terrific experience, and I have to say, mm. I mean, what it what it led for me. I mean, I I wasn't aware what it would do for me, but it wasn't mm. until later that really the world opened up for me. I was yes. then invited to go to all these Doctor Who conventions, and they went. I mean, I mean, I've been everywhere. I've mm. been to Australia, New Zealand. Uh, Los Angeles, Chicago, New York, Orlando, all to these Doctor Who conventions where they, they treat you like gods. It's incredible. Yes. You get blown out there, you get put it up in a hotel, you sign the autographs, they give me a fee. I mean, it's incredible. Not only that, but there was a Doctor Who cruise. Oh I ended up God. on a cruise going to the Caribbean on this boat that took 3,000 people, 90 or 100 of those were Doctor Who fans. But they said, it's just, I always remember them saying, no, look, all you have to do is to have dinner with them in the evening and chat to them about, you go around all the tables eventually or during the cruise and you chat to them and answer their questions about Doctor Who and about, you know, mm -hmm. that's all you have to do you for the rest of your day free. But in the morning, if they come up to you and say, hello, could you just say, I said, no, 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 no. The evenings are fine, but my day is, no. I said, of course, of course I'll say hello, for God's sake. But that was the, that was the joy. I mean, can you believe it? I mean, that's it hysterical, be. isn't it? The Doctor mm. Who cruise. Must be so surreal. Um, I suppose, like, in, in your everyday life, I, I, I hope I'm not being into this, like, in your everyday life, I imagine you can just go to shops, you can, you can go out for a meal, and it's absolutely fine. But in those situations, you are a real, real Tom Cruise-level celebrity for that short period of time, however well, long it is, yeah. you know? For that length of time, for, for, the, for those conventions and for those, because people are there specifically to see you and to, yeah. and to, to ask you questions. But yes, I mean, and, and also, yeah, I mean, I mean that's right. Mm -hmm. And of course, it's it's it opened up the opportunity for you not only to come back in the show. Uh, did you do two episodes after that? I, I believe you did a little three, bit. Three, I think three yeah. in the end. Yeah, three, you did. Three, I can't remember. Mm -hmm. It was that bizarre one where, where we. I always remember uh, jetting up on the set and I was talking to a man with a green face and a green mm -hmm. head. And I thought to myself, you know what, if Winston comes back and is doing this, he can come back at any time. Exactly. Let's bring him back. Let's bring him back. You know, so mm -hmm. so that was that was great. That was great. Mm -hmm. Well, I always think with, with his, this is only um a, li a little point to me. In the modern series, at least, when they cast a historical figure, they generally use them every single time. So whoever played Charles Dickens back in 2005 when they had an episode of him, with him in, they uh, used him again about 10 years later. So, I, really? yeah, so I think, really? I think there's always a chance if they do Churchill again, it will be you, if you don't mind my saying. God, I mean, I think that's wonderful. No, 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 I'd love to go back. I, I, mean, I mean, it was such a was such a joy joy to do it in the first place i mean it was the, you know oh 100 percent. i'd love to see i churchill interact with the current doctor whoever comes next i think there's always it's always interesting to see the doctor working with people from history because yeah. you know he, he could look at it from either way the doctor could because usually the doctor likes to have the moral high ground and meeting characters 
um, not just uh, Churchill, he met Marco Polo, he met all these sorts of characters where yeah. maybe morally there are challenges. And I kind of like that. I think, I think that brings out something different in the Doctor. Well, there was a wonderful experience I had on, uh, because then Big Finish got in touch with me yes. and said, uh, would I do some work for them? And I ended up doing two wonderful box sets of mm. Churchill stories. And, and, but that was, that was hysterical because at the time, Churchill was Churchill was voicing all the other doctors. Oh. So, so he'd be walking through, and so, so I had to then sort of, you know, uh, and, and so th 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 then I had to say, so and so came in, uh, and then I had to do the voice. I always remember the, the director saying, um, yes, with Eccleston, can you make it a little bit more this way? And all the rest, and I think so. Get the actor in to do it for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, and eventually that's what they did. Having done the box sets yeah. since that time, I've now worked with, um, uh, I've now with uh, Sylvester, I've worked with Paul McGann. I've done, I've, done, I've, done, I've done two stories in that time because I think they wanted to try and then get, get, get uh, Winston to come in mm. and start working with the other doctors, which is great. So that's been... That's been terrific too, to, to actually go back and revisit Winston with, with these other doctors, which has been fantastic. Mm. I mean, um, I've heard about this box set. I've never actually seen it. I had no idea it was you voicing uh, the doctors. Is, is it done in the sense that it's Churchill doing these voices, if that makes sense? Or is it meant to be oh, yes, you? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes, okay. Yes, okay. Yes, it's Churchill. It's Churchill because it's uh, the, the role Churchill stories. And, and although there are other actors appearing in them doing uh, doing those things for some reason whenever the doctor appeared i would then have to do right the, and then the doctor said this or the doctor said that but they had other actors to do other roles in them yes, yes. lovely four box sets uh, two, two box sets with about three or four stories in each which was lovely mm, oh lovely I little box sets Mm. that my children had for Christmas, and I don't think they've ever opened them. So. <laughs> oh Oops. my God, and of course, the other, the other amazing thing is I, I got, <laughs> I'll just bring it to a show you, hang on. Oh, absolutely. What do we think about that? <laughs> That's so okay? funny. I, I have one of those, not with me, unfortunately. I keep all my, my figures in other houses, but I actually own that set. <laughs> but I mean, can you believe it? Can you believe that there's a, action figure of me as Winston Churchill. It's unbelievable. And in this one, there's a Dalek too, so that's yes. fantastic. Um, then when you did that, did they tell you, obviously they probably would have told you, did you do a face scan? Did you do a sculpt oh thing? Oh my God, I went to a special place in Windsor mm. that deals, uh, deals with not only these dolls, but all sorts of other, I mean, dolls to do with uh, musicians and stuff like that. A great doll making house or action figure making house. And they scanned my whole body with something that they used in NASA. It was like it was this most incredible machine where they did a 3D image of me. Wow. Oh, that's really cool. It. Yeah, that is absolutely really cool. incredible. That, that was, I, I think, uh, you can forget everything else I've ever done, but my kids, once they saw me as an action figure, they went, oh, my God, what more could anybody want, really, now? No, that's an, that's another thing about the show. This obviously being in it is fantastic, but the merchandise that comes with it as well, because I believe they've used your likeness in comic books and uh, obviously in book stories and stuff like that. So your your interpretation of Churchill goes well beyond the TV show. I think. Oh my God! If, if if I if I told you that actually I've had so many letters from mm -hmm. uh, fans and young fans saying that. Um, they now consider me when they do, when they when they do history. They consider me uh, his character oh. as the Churchill character that they learn about in their history stories, which is which is so touching. I have to say, I know it's. I can't even how to say I can't fathom myself what it would be like looking at a bit of plastic that looks just like me. I can't imagine. Any of that really, but um, well, it's a um, good likeness. Mm. They did such a good likeness with this uh, machine. It's terrific. Oh wow! I can't. And then, uh, so, sorry. So we've spoken about Big Finish. We've spoken about 
being in that first episode. Obviously, you came back again in 2011 for Series 6. Now, I, d- I don't know when you would have filmed that, but that was a bit more of a surrealist kind of story. Did you... Oh, as that, that was a man with a green face. Yes. With, the, with surrealism of that one, did you find that to be more fun, less fun? Uh, do you know what I kept... <laughs> I, always remember, I always remember discussing with the director uh, and he very quietly said, I don't know what it means either. <laughs> so that was actually, that was quite funny. So, so we both, we both went along not really knowing what the hell we were doing. So that was fine. Oh, wow. Was that surreal? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> as a v- Look, if, as a viewer, I couldn't make any sense of it. I, ca- I can only imagine what it was like for the actors. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Oh, my days. You just went with it. You, 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 you just have to make it work for yourself, really. 